Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwame Sha'ala, Kuhuluimla. Yahweh Basim Yahweh Sai, Baha Summer Kakwadas, the Bahanas to our apostles and elders, the great millstone, who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Basim Yahweh Sai to the best of their ability. This is Yahweh Nawaf. Just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And uh, I wanted to touch on this article. Um, it's in the essence. It says the CDC, which is the uh, you know Center for Disease Control Foundation, launches scholarship fund to financially support the descendants of black men affected by the Tuskegee syphilis experiment. <laughs> oh, shit, some of those men probably still alive. Hell, old as shit, but definitely got sons and and you know grandsons and stuff. <laughs> And Esau's still alive too, the so-called white man. A lot of those men are still alive that done this. But they'll try and make it seem as if, you know, it was so long ago. Because, <clears throat> you know, when I was reading the comments, you know, these so-called white people, they're like, oh, well, that was 80 years ago. Okay, well, all right, people still alive. There's people still alive from those events. Maybe not a lot of them, but it's still people, you know, but still, you know. Let's get some of the article real quick. And it shows you, this is going to show you just how cruel Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is towards us as a people. And that's why the scripture says to never trust thine enemy. This is what happens when you trust this man. And he actually used the so-called black woman to pull this shit off. It says um, it was one of the most devastating and inhumane events in recent American history. And black communities, black communities are still feeling the effects of it. The in question refers to the Tuskegee study, untreated syphilis in the Negro male, now dubbed as USPHS, untreated syphilis study at Tuskegee. A study that used 600 black men, which were not black, were different shades of brown. We are actually Israelites from the tribe of Judah. If you are a so-called black man here in America, you will be from the same tribe as um, Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus, which is not a white man either. He, he would be a Negro today. If he was walking the earth. Okay, it says a study that used 600 black men in Alabama, 399 with a highly contagious syphilis and 201 without it. As guinea pigs to track damage of the disease, the participants were told they were receiving treatment for bad blood. And in exchange for their time, they get medical care along with meals, transportation to the appointments and burial insurance. So if a motherfucker offering you burial insurance, you, you ought to, uh, that, that should raise some, some, some antennas, man. It says poor sharecroppers and mostly illiterate. Lock you. The men thought they struck gold. See? And, and, and see, this is why, um, you know, you have to have some integrity, you know, when it comes straight down to it. You know, and, and a lot of the brothers been going off into lessons, you know, as far as like, our man being humiliated and, um, you know, basically, you know, they're, 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 you know, they're doing nasty stuff to get these positions, you know, whether actors, um, um, comedians, whatever, um, um, entertainment, uh, uh, area that they're in, they're doing real, na they, they're allowing Esau to do real nasty shit to him to get those positions. If you know what I'm saying, Cat Williams brought a lot of that out, right? So you have to, when this man gets to offering you anything, because he's not that type of person. He's not nice like that. So if he gets to offering you anything, that should send up antennas like this motherfucker is about to try and get down. You know, he's giving you free food, transportation to appointments and burial insurance. That should have said right there like, oh, man, come on. And then it says that the men thought they struck gold. And see, Esau know how to get at you. Esau, all Esau got to do is dangle a little bit of money in front of our people, man. And they get down. That's what happened with, um... The so-called black women with, with this damn Section 8, with these food stamps, those gifts. See? That's why the scriptures talks about a gift destroyed the heart. You know? That gift, man, that's how they that, and this is how he gets down. He he comes with the with the with the you know with the treats. He comes offering shit. You see him on a day-to-day -day basis when you look at the news, when you look at all these countries where he's invaded. You know, or, or with his democracy, he's always coming in offering something. 
He's always coming in, you know, and, 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 and the people that he hit first is normally the women of those countries. You know, he he, he runs in and he tells them how, you know, they should be able to, you know, um, um, be is equal with their men and all this different stuff. And once they get the once he gets those get those treats to him and they receive, they think, you know, it's damn chaos, man. It's lucky of the chariots, baby. Eleven forty four. That's what I'm talking about. Hit right on time. But anyway. Let's see what else they have to say. Matter of fact, though, let me grab this quick scripture real quick. This is why, man, the Lord said, he, hey, these people are our enemies. You are not in the hands of friends. This man, this is not the first test that he's done. He's been testing on, shit on us for hundreds of years. Us being in the, in the hood, so to speak, is a damn test. The projects is a test. The food that he gives us is a test. He's testing out everything. Why you think when 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 the, when the, the COV19 went down, he was all talking about how disproportionately the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans were, and they needed it first. And then you, I even seen um um it was a few of those so-called white doctors talking about this would be our um this would be reparations from us basically. You know what I'm saying? Because we're gonna help you first. No, what they were trying to do was test Jake ass. You see what I'm saying? They were trying to test that shit on Jake. Anyway, can't trust this man. And if you do, you get what's coming to you. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. Never trust thine enemy. For like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Just like iron going to rust. It's shiny at first, but you let it sit for a while. It's going to eventually you're going to start to see some rust spots hit it. And then over time, it'll just completely rust out. He's going to show you that. He can't help it. It says, never to trust thine enemy. For like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself, what did he do? And go crouching. What did he tell our men? Well, hey, man, you got bad blood. We're going to help you with that. We're going to give you free meals. We're going to get you um, um your doctor's appointments. We're going to give you free burial. You know? And we will throw a couple of dollars in there here and there, too. You know. See, it says, though he humble himself and go crouching yet take good heed. Soon as they soon as he went to offering all those little trinkets, Jake should have been like, uh, uh, you know what? This motherfucker been treating us like shit since we've been here. You know, why would I trust anything that he has to offer? Right. It says, take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Which means he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna strike like the snake that he is eventually. He's going to slither in. He's going to wait to the right moment. Then, ah, got you. You can't trust this man. And he's, he, he's about to come back again with the same bullshit. Trust me. Verse 12, it says, set him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place, neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat, and thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. Which means, hey, you 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 gonna be like, well, damn, I should have listened. Because the Lord said, take good heed of this man. Beware of him. Never trust him. Look at what happened to the so-called um, Native American Indians. Motherfucker came through giving them blankets and shit with, with, with damn chicken pox, small pox, whatever pox. When this man get to offering you something and, and it's so-called out of love. Nah, man, the scriptures talked about a uh, no, 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 man. You can't trust this man. You ought to be red flags ought to go up soon as he gets to talking about giving you something. It says verse 13, it says, who will pity a charmer? that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come not wild beast. So basically what that's saying is, you know, you got, you got to look at these guys like, what the fuck was y'all thinking? You should have knew that this man was capable of that shit. He's, well, this is all he's done to us since we've been here. It's, it's treachery. Why would he all of a sudden be so nice to you that he want to help you out? Come on, bro. Anyway, let's get some more. This shit is retarded. Hey, but but hey, Esau gonna pay for this. And they really think that, you know what I'm saying? They're not gonna pay for this. It says, 10 years later, penicillin was found to be a suitable treatment for syphilis. None of the men received it, though. See? They ain't even get him in. They, 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 you know, they found, they tested him forever. 
They 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 so called got a, a cure, and they won't even give it to them. It says the disease was spread through their fam to their families, and wider community. Instead, they got placebos like aspirin. Subsequently, over the course of the years long study, dozens of men suffer from serious symptoms that worsen through time, like blindness and mental decline. Others die. Generations later. The stain of the deceptive study remains seen in the way medical mistrust among the black community plays out today. That's the reason why Jake was like, fuck that, 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 that we know we're not rolling our sleeve up when, when that COV came through. Jake was like, hey, they, it was a lot of hesitation. A lot of our people went out and done that stupid shit, though. Don't get me wrong. But the younger generation, you know, a little more, you know, just, a, you know, a little more adapt to what's really going on, you know, in a sense. They like, uh uh, fuck that. You crazy? I'm not going there. No, this man ain't shoving nothing in my arm. <laughs> okay, it says. Let me get that back again. It says, general, um, it says, generations later, the stain of deceptive study remains seen in the way medical mistrust among black community plays out today. For instance, widespread, see, here we're talking about COV 19, the, 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 you know, the shot. Hesitancy swept the group at the pandemic. Un understandably, research showed that the Tuskegee study played a large role in the way black people cautiously regard the medical system, uh, ultimately leading to an undesirable health outcomes due to more infrequent fi um, physicians' visits. Jake not having it, man. Jake, don't try fuck out of here, man. Jake, you know what? Our women are quick to go to them doctors, though. Our women will go, hey, they trust Esau. <laughs> They trust Esau. They'll go, you know, but uh, the men, the men not too big on um, um, going to Esau, man, unless you really, really have to. It says the organization recently announced the launch of a new scholarship program. Voices today for change tomorrow for the descendants of black men who participated in the study represents. So basically, when they come with this next, whatever they're going to put out here, they trying to make up for the bullshit they done the last time. By giving some damn money and, and, and basically trying to buy Jake into um, taking what's coming next. Trust me. <laughs> it says the mission of the CDC Foundation is to raise a $5 million endowment to support the current voices for our Father's Legacy Foundation scholarship to offer several 100,000 scholarships annually to the study, the, the study's descendants. To what? Go to your school or something? What the fuck you mean a scholarship? Why don't you just pass that money out? I go get a trade. You know what I'm saying? Fuck what 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 I'm about to spend this money to go to one of your dumb ass colleges? Get the hell out of here, man. These people are ridiculous, man. It says the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation is a leading donor, one million in helping to push them towards the goal. By making a commitment to uh, see see here, here here you go with his, with his bullshit. This is how you know you're not supposed to trust this man. By making a commitment to honor the legacy of these men. We are working to provide a stronger foundation of support for the next generation to build change, said Judy Monroe, MD, president and CEO of the CDC Foundation in a news release. These scholarships are intended to amplify the voices of the next generation, allowing them to honor the life experience of their ancestors while pursuing innovative solutions across their fields of study. Basically, they trying to fool Jake into coming to get that next that next round or whatever they about to uh, shove out here. Let me see if I can see. Let's get some. Let's see if we can get some info on this. Let's see if this. I'm just gonna put in her name. I want to see who what pops up. Let's see. And you can't trust the so-called black woman neither, man, when it comes down to shit like this. Because like I said, again, it, it, they use a so-called black woman. She was um, a nurse, supposedly. And what the hell just happened? Oh, here we go right here. And the so-called black woman went for that shit, man. Yep, here you go right here. Some goddamn Edomite looking like she might not be an Edomite, but uh, hey, this is some Edomite type shit, so. Until I know otherwise, this is a goddamn Edomite. You can clearly see this lady do not like so-called black people. Get the hell out of here. You can see it on her. That she don't like Negroes. Get the hell out of here. You go. You trust somebody look like this? She's trying to raise money. She's trying to 
basically, you know, say, well, hey, because they got to come up with ways to do this stuff, man. See, they understand that, you know, the so-called blacks, you know, they can they can wave a little money and Jake going to go for it. Jake be doing all kinds of shit for this man's money, you know. So now they're trying to basically, well, we were working towards getting the trust back. Nah, ain't no trust over here. The scripture says don't trust um, your enemy, man. You're not supposed to trust your enemy. It's just that simple, man. And these people are cruel as hell. They haven't stopped this type of stuff. Don't, don't, don't think for one moment that they stop um, experimenting on us, man. We, we are an experiment until the Lord comes back. They're going to continue on doing shit like this. And, and it's going to come a point where, see, they prefer, because when it comes down to this MOTB, it's going to have to be something that basically you're going to have to choose. They're going to present it to you and, and, and for it to work really for you to be, really become their slave, to really become a perpetual slave to them. You're going to have to go for it. See, and this is what's th this is the next big thing that they're going to come with is that MOTB, that market of beauty and the beast. They're going to start to try and implant uh, you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans with a goddamn chip. And the way that they're going to do it is they're going to, you know, hey, you want to eat? We're going to give you free money. We're going to give you free food. You young ladies, you want to keep those Section 8 apartments? You want to keep getting your food stamps? OK, then we're going to need you to bring the babies down. Hey, they're going to they going to write into law. You see what I'm saying? They're going to write into law for um, um, you, Jake, man, to to basically, uh, they, you know, um, um, come on down, man. So what, what you're going to have to do then? You're going to have to trust on the Lord. This is the reason why we do these lessons, man, because the enemy, he's about to come down hardcore during this Jacob's trouble. He's about to come down hardcore on you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They already out here talking about um, um, another one to come. I'm not going to go all off into it, you know, <laughs> but they, they they already talking about another one to come. The WEF, the World Economic Forum, the Klaus Schwab, or whatever this clown name is. All these so-called white people out here that nobody voted for is making all the decisions for the world. That's their next move to get rid of the dollar. You know what I'm saying? And to implant people and, and, and basically tell you, OK, now this is your new um, income. You want to continue on getting these benefits from us? Then come on down. So it's high time to awake out of sleep, man, and realize who this man is and what he's about. He's not your friend. The scripture clearly says that the Lord was going to send us into slavery to our enemies. Look at what these people have been doing to us since we've been here. Look at what they've been doing. They've been doing all manner of wickedness to us, man, as a people. You can't trust this man. So I'm telling you, man, matter of fact, let me get this, though. I'm going to end out here because I'm at the plantation anyway. I was just trying to get a quick one in when I seen that, you know, because it makes you angry. But at the same time, too, we understand it because, you know, hey, by the spirit, the Lord told us what was going to happen to us under these people. These, this is a base people. This is a base nation of people. That Job 30 in um, verse 8, I think it is, it talks about he's viler than the earth. This is a vile man. He's not capable of, he, he doesn't treat himself good. So how is he going to treat you good? Romans 13 and 11, it says in that, knowing the time that now it is our time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. See, we're at the end, man. Because the scriptures talked about how this man would be revealed in the last days. Matter of fact, I got to get that too. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. This is one of the end days prophecies right here as well. That the man of sin, the son of perdition be revealed. It's this man. Remember they was all in Africa. Your boy um, uh, Kill Gates of Hell was all over in Africa. You know what I'm saying? Offering, you know, uh, uh, shots to those people. Man, all types of people um, passed away. All types of people got deleted. These are the, it's the so-called white man. He's in control of who can make any type of um, treatment for anything. He'll tell you, you know, um, OK, well, no, you, you can't take fruits, vegetables and herbs to clear anything. You know what I'm saying? We we got you. And then they genetically modify all the damn food where where you everybody here is fucking something going on with them. Everybody here is fucking sick, basically, man. Because of this man. 
because of the air quality that he's produced, the water quality that he's produced, the food quality that he has produced. Motherfuckers is out here on all kinds of medications, pills. People psycho as hell. People don't give a fuck. People don't even know what they next. People just out here, just they, they, they you know, the suicide rate is through the, through the roof. This man is a, a, a complete destroyer, man. Second Thessalonians 2 and 3, it says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. This is the so-called white man. He whitewashed all the images. He give you this, this, this picture of, uh, of some butt-naked white guy talking about he's God. He give you this blonde hair, blue eyed white guy talking about he's the son. He give you these little butt naked white babies with the wings on their back, their pee pee showing, talking about they the angels. You know? And then he wants to get out here and have a camera on everybody, looking down from space. You know what I'm saying? Every goddamn corner you turn, he's got cameras on the freeways, cameras on the highways, cameras on the roads, cameras all in your damn car, cameras on the phones. Looking in and, and peering into your conversations. Cameras in the TVs. He wants to be all seeing, all knowing. Listening in on everything. And see the last major point that he has to get to is, is now we really need to be able to track them. Now we need to be able to track every single purchase that they make. Now we need to be able to follow his ass at wherever he's going. See they can do that as long as you got this phone on you. But if I was to throw this phone away then that would stop there, you know, last thing they're going to know is, okay, he was right here. Okay, we found the phone, but where is he at? So now if they want to put that shit, if they put the shit in you, now they know everything about you. And they're going to make it to the point where you're not going to be able to buy or sell. That's what Revelation 13 is going into, 13 and 16. Unless you have the mark, you don't have his shit. You're not going to be able to buy or sell out here. So that's where it's coming down to a point of you need to be repenting. You so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, which you are Israelites. That's your biblical nationality. You need to be repenting to the father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, and praying for mercy, man. You need to be under the covering of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in these last days. Because this wicked motherfucker, he's about to start getting down. He's already pushing th his plans through. And the scripture says that he know that he had but a short time. He's going to come down with great wrath. This man been doing this type of cruelty, man. And it's not just, see, it's then it's then it's then spilled over onto their own people as well. This man don't care about his own people. So, you know, he don't care about you, Jake's. He's going to. And, and, but matter of fact, though, he's going to use you, Jake's. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to test out every goddamn thing that they have before they give it to their own people, though. I will say that. They'll step up from that. They're going to use it on you first to see how it how the reactions go down. But again, this man will come to a point where he, he really seriously doesn't care about his own people. So I just wanted to just touch on that and bring this out, man. Don't, don't, hey, this man is a, is a damn madman. <laughs> you best believe he's a madman and he's about to show you. This shit is crazy, man. Here you go. You want to try five million dollars? What the fuck is five million dollars? For that type of shit that you done to a whole community. You gave that shit to 600 so-called black men. You know, they was passing that shit on to their woman. She was getting the women was getting pregnant and that shit was being passed on to the baby. Then men, you know, was sleeping with multiple women, women sleeping with, you know, this man is a, out, of, out of his damn mind, man. But that all that's all coming from the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. The Lord told us, you know what I'm saying, that, hey, uh, all kinds of plagues, diseases that, that, that were unheard of would come upon us. We would go into slavery to our enemy. He's going to do all manner of wicked shit to you. This man been doing all kinds of wicked shit to us, man. And the Lord is going to repay you so-called white people. And again, you know, when you go into the comments, you know, you, 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 you these proud ass so-called white people in the comments talking about how long it was ago. How long ago it was. That was 80 years ago. OK. And. What the fuck you talking about? That was. But, but, but see, when it comes to them, 
They want you to remember 9-11. They want you to remember the Holocaust. They want you to remember all the, all the, you know, um, um, you know, Veterans Day and Memorials Day and all these stupid ass holidays that they got. But when it comes to you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, they don't want to hear you say nothing about the, the atrocities that they've done to you. But guess what? The Lord requires the past, man. The Lord is going to get y'all asses. But soon, too. Coming real soon. So I'm going to end off there because, like I said, again, I'm at the plantation. Got to go ahead and wrap some stuff up. But hey, man, know that this man is the enemy. Know that this man is your enemy. He, you, he, he can't be trusted. If this motherfucker, if you work with any of them and they talk about let's go to the bar later. Come on, come up. We're, we're, we're going to rent a cabin for the weekend. No, the, hey, you go to work. Hey, how you doing, Jim? And you get the fuck on. Jump in your car and go home. If they offer you food, don't do it. They offer you anything. Oh, no, no, I'm okay. I just ate. They come bringing you. Oh, yeah, stop that. Tim Hortons, I grabbed you a coffee. I thought about you. I grabbed you some donuts. No, no, I'm okay. I already ate breakfast. You know, uh, I can't eat sweets. You know, make up something. Make up something. Tell the asses anything. Don't trust them, man. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashola.